Look at camera. Nice. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to give you some tips on how to go vegan because I realize I talk a lot about vegan lifestyle and how I eat and here are some recipes and why you should go vegan but I don't really tell you how and I know that a lot of people are interested and they just kind of don't know where to start. So I'm going to give you some tips. I was just sitting here eating and I thought I want to give out these tips. So, <laughs> so number one, the first thing you want to do is you want to find your why. And the reason is because if you don't have a solid reason to transition the way that you eat and the way that you spend your money, you're probably not going to stick to it. And you're not going to feel feel informed with, with knowledge so that when people start asking you, oh, like, why, why are you going vegan or why aren't you eating meat anymore? You're not going to have an answer. So a great place to start is with some documentaries because they're an easy way to just get going and kind of load up on information. And then from there you can do research. So. Three that I recommend would be The Game Changers on Netflix. Um, that one really focuses on health and athletes and um, athletic performance. And the next one is Cowspiracy. And that one talks a lot about the environment and the environmental impact that your diet and your uh, choices can make on our world. And the other documentary is Earthlings. And Earthlings is a tough one to watch. I'm not going to lie. It is a little graphic. but it shows the reality of animal welfare and what's going on in the world. We kind of go through life with blinders on, not realizing um, what all these other beings that we share the earth with are experiencing because of our, us and our choices. So I um, highly recommend searching for those three documentaries, watching them, and then whatever aligns with you will give you kind of like a little bit more enthusiasm and passion to go into this lifestyle change. The next thing you're going to want to do is get even more information because you really need to feel secure in making these changes. You can't just take the word of any YouTuber on there. I know that probably sounds ironic coming from me, but I'm telling you to go and do your own research. Um, you can start with podcasts. There's a few podcasts like Generation V, which is Nimai's podcast, Nutrition Rounds with Dr. Danielle Bellardo, and the Rich Roll podcast. And all of those podcasts have really amazing guests that are well informed from doctors to specialists in different areas. And you'll be able to learn a lot more about why you should go vegan, um, things about the gut microbiome and why we should eat certain ways and what we should avoid certain things. And everything from the environment to animals to health and fitness so listen to podcasts that are going to inform you and that way you can feel armed with knowledge and the next thing you're going to want to do is just to start slowly changing the habits that you have around spending money money is very powerful and how you spend your money can make all the difference so I'm not telling you to go into your closet, throw away your leather jackets and throw everything out that's already in your refrigerator. I'm just telling you that as you move forward from the moment that you decided that you want to go plant-based, start making different choices with your money. So when you're going to the grocery store, don't buy bacon, don't buy eggs, don't buy cheese. Start buying more fruits, more vegetables. Maybe try some Beyond Meat products if you're curious about them or try some tofu or um, look up some recipes. Try looking up, make it a goal to look up two to three recipes a week and then print them out and see what ingredients you need. Go buy some tempeh, some tofu. I have different videos on here you can watch and then you can start to experiment more. So just moving forward, it doesn't mean that you have to go and throw away the stuff that you already have in your home, but just moving forward, you're going to start spending your money on plant-based things and things that don't come from animals. And as you make these changes, you're going to have to make the personal decision whether you're going to want to change your lifestyle in phases and slowly stop buying things and make changes that way. Or if you're going to go cold turkey, um, that's the only that's the only metaphor I can think of using. But if you're going to make the change cold turkey, that's what I did. When I decided I wanted to go vegan, I said I'm not going to eat any of the meat that I have. I'm just going to go and start today. So you can start today, but if that's too much pressure and that's too stressful, don't do that. Just take it one day at a time. Start by eliminating red meat and then start by eliminating chicken and white meat products and then fish and then dairy products and then eggs. And as you, as you go, you just start eliminating more things. And that way you can go from um, an omnivorous diet to a vegetarian diet to um, a more 
um, oboe vegetarian diet until you finally ready to be fully vegan. Whatever feels comfortable to you because you have to stick to it and you have to be happy with what choices you're making. You want to be living a lifestyle that's sustainable for you. So I hope that those tips help and that you can take everything that I'm saying and feel a little bit more confident moving forward as you make this transition. I hope that the videos on my channel can help you out and make sure that you subscribe for more videos. And until next time, sending you love and light as always. Peace.